here we are in my hotel in Vienna. Gotta say, a bit of a classy establishment. Not too bad a spot. Haven't tried the bed out or anything yet. But hey, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we're heading into Schönbrunn Palace, or Schönbrunn Castle. It's the home of the Habsburgs and the absolutely amazing little spot made in the 1700s to be patterned after Versailles, but made sure it was larger than Versailles. Now, there's no photography allowed inside, so this is about as far as I'm going to get you. But I just want you to take a brief look along the outside first. Let's see what we've got. All right. Schönbrunn Palace from the outside. Hanging out on the balcony overlooking the gardens. Let's see if I can get the balcony in here. This place is set up much like Versailles with that sort of mathematical precision. Attention to detail that is very classic Greco-Roman and made to basically show off just how wealthy you really are. Gardens were expensive use of land that could be used for other things. So it showed off your wealth and power. The whole idea behind this new style was the perfection, the mathematical precision of the universe. And that this was a hearkening back to the knowledge, civilization, understandings of the Greek and Roman times. And so what you're going to find is all of the allusions to Greek and Roman heroes, gods, myths, but with a slightly newer, somewhat more European look. As you can tell, this place is mapped out. It's a square within a circle, a cross within a circle, where everything is placed just so to create an incredibly well-designed, symmetrical, mathematically or geometrically beautiful spot. This is actually part of the palace. It's a complex of oh, 20 different buildings, I think. All sorts of entrances and exits and spots. Because, of course, no one ruler could live somewhere where his parents had already been. with aluminium, uh, including aluminium, like you feed yeah. your children, your grandkids, you feed aluminium. It's like, whoa, well, everybody of us knows aluminium is no good in our body, it, it harms our body. And so um, the thing is, these are the, 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 main, the main thing, the main three, um, uh, three points. Uh, basically, um, our main ingredient is sugar, of course. That's how it should be, uh, because um, I do a lot of um, researching, of course, it's my job like, um, to do a lot of research because nowadays, you know, we all eat basically too much sugar. 
that's that's a that's a fact because not because we eat a lot of sweets all the time because sugar is everywhere. everywhere. Like you're putting sugar in bread, in ham, and whatever. Like you, there is sugar added. Um, the thing is, uh, in modern, in the last ten years, uh, everybody like or last 10, 15 years, everybody went to um, super healthy, uh, sugar-free things. And yeah, I mean, on the one side, we eat too much sugar, that's right. <laughs> too much sugar is definitely good for us, but to, uh, to exchange the sugar with substances, um, which are far from good for our bodies, uh, this is very problematic. I think we should, we should focus on just to eat less sugar. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.